Hey Internet, today we're going to talk about opening up the floodgates for Anniversary. While the footage is Snowbreak, it could be for any gacha game. So what do I mean by opening up the floodgates? As you can see, this is a rerun character, Kaguya. Now Snowbreak has allowed every single character that has ever been run to be rerun this patch so from your last patch to like a long awaited six months character so a character that has been run six months ago is now on the anniversary or the last patch character so i think it's overall a positive for companies that open up the floodgates so that's characters weapons skins Financially it's great because they're going to make probably a lot of money from doing this. It gives new players variety to choose which character to wish for. And for the spenders, you know that you're not going to have enough currency to get all of them. So you're probably going to have to spend. Now, so that's, we talked about characters and weapons. So in Snowbreak, they've got both. They got the signature weapons, signature characters, and then of course they've got the skins as well. So they've got every single skin available. So that's cool. I don't mind that. I think like having every single skin, every single character and weapon. I think overall it's a positive like if you've missed your 50 50 last run and you know that you're gonna get another chance of getting that character then that's really cool for opening up the floodgates I don't really see any negatives a reason to fight sure I've got one I mean Maybe it cheapens the rerun from the previous patch because you're rerunning that character again in the same patch for anniversary. But I think that's a minor like issue because if you think about it, you got all the other characters that haven't been rerun. So I don't think that's a solid argument i think that's a pretty weak argument from my side like yeah it cheapens that character but at the same time it makes the other characters even more valuable because they haven't been rerun in such a long time so it's a give and take i think like for character for players that have just started brand new and so they're spoiled for choice so if they don't like the signature character that is being run right now for example infinite sight and they prefer the other characters because maybe they find the other characters more attractive or more powerful so that's a really good reason to have this opening of the gates as it were so they're spoiled for choice. So, all right, let's throw it to the audience. I got two questions for you guys. What other games open up the floodgates and like allow everything to be rerun for their anniversary? Also, like drop a negative why opening up the floodgates is a bad thing for gacha games. I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, it's a once a year. So it's not like every, like every patch, which cheapens the characters. It's like a celebration where you get to pick and choose which character to wish for. Although that's just my perspective. All right. We'll keep this video short so let me know down below in the comments 
do you think that opening up the floodgates is a good idea? And leave a negative about opening up the floodgates for anniversary. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Ring the bell. Turn on all notifications. Like I said, leave the two comments. If you want to support the channel, become a member or drop a super thanks. Until next time, see ya.